What's the easiest way to evaluate a deal? I'm Tim Diesel, I'm a commercial real estate consultant. Today, I wanna to tell you, in my opinion, what the best way to evaluate a deal. And many of you know this, uh, primarily because you've called me and you've asked me and you've kind of uh, uh, looked at a couple other options and there's software out there, there's all kinds of things. So let's go through a couple of, uh, of the, let's say you find a deal. And for this example, let's just say it's a, a 10,000 square foot retail uh, strip center. And it could be anything, it could be whatever you want, but we're gonna use this for this example. And you're looking at it through, there's tenants and um, there's uh, vacancy there, and you're looking at all this other stuff. And maybe you find another uh, 15 unit apartment building. Same thing, it's occupied, it's got rent history, all this good stuff. Well, there is software out there, and I'm not gonna mention any software, I'm not gonna talk about what I use, um, I'm not trying to sell you any kind of software. I just want to give you any, there is software out there, right? And you can Google this stuff. You can find whichever one you want. If you're really curious about what I use, you can email me. I'll be glad to tell you. And you pop it in your software and maybe, or maybe you have your own spreadsheet. It doesn't really matter. However you come up with, whatever your formula is, everybody I've found has their own calculation. Your calculation doesn't really matter. The one thing you need to focus on is it's the bank. So if you're getting financing, that's the one that's the most important. Because you may want to use, I don't know, a vacancy of 3%, the bank might use 5%. You may have a great argument about how property management is 8% for you and you've got historical, they might want to use 10%. Whatever the numbers are that you get from the broker or the seller, put all that together, send it to the banker that you're gonna use. Let them do it. Uh, I have done this for years now. I've stopped evaluating deals myself. I do quick evaluations, and I've, I've uh, talked about how I do those, right? How you can analyze multifamily property, retail centers, medical centers, and I go off of the expense ratio. Nine out of 10 times, I'm actually more than that. I'm usually very, very close to what they want. And my numbers are more or less in line with, their, with the bank's numbers, and that's when I say that. Whatever information you have, take it, send it to your banker, uh, find a bank you work with, find a financial institution you're working with, it doesn't matter what it is, your lender of choice, tell them this is what I wanna do, what do you think of this deal? Now, they're going to tell you, um, the conversation is gonna go like this. They're gonna say, listen, you're gonna need 25, 30% down, whatever it is, and this is the kind of financing we're gonna to put together. And obviously your question is gonna be, what is your combined loan to value? If I get owner financing on this thing, how much can I go up to? Most of the time it's 90%. I've seen it more, it doesn't really matter. So when you're putting all this together, uh, it's different than when the bank is putting it together. The bank is gonna be super conservative most of the time. And that's good because if they tell you this deal is probably kind of tight, it's not gonna work, you don't wanna do the deal. Do not think you're smarter than these guys. Yes, if there's something you see that they don't see, bring it up to them. Hey, how do I do this? This is what I'm thinking. I wanna clean this up, I wanna raise the rents. Have them put it in their little formula and, and see what they think. But if you're thinking yes, and the financial institution is saying no, it's probably something to think about. Not to say don't do it, but it's probably something to think about. Talk to someone else. Uh, many of you have emailed me the deal. You said, what do you think? Uh, and that's fine. You guys can scratch out the address. I really don't care. Um, there to help you guys out. Whatever I can do to give you guys help on the deal, uh, that's fantastic. Maybe you want a second set of eyes. You're asking about, hey, what happens in a year? Um, nobody knows, right? Nobody really knows. Everyone's just kind of taking their best guess. Uh, the thing with the bank, uh, the reason why I like giving it to the, the bank financial institution is they have guidelines. And I know from what they tell me, we can make exceptions on this, we can move this around, and I know there's some things they can't move around. Um, and I'll give you an example. If you have a retail building and it's 50, 60% occupied, there's not a whole lot they can do for it. Uh, now, if you have um, a single tenant industrial building on a 15 year lease, they like that a little bit more. See what I mean? They go off of security. So the way you evaluate a deal as an individual is different. Because you're looking at what can I take this deal to? You know, how can I grow it? Uh, value add opportunities. The bank doesn't really look at that. The bank looks at, can this guy pay us back? 
That's, that's the way, really, that's what they're doing. So take your deal, send it to your banker, send it to your financial institution, and let them tell you what they think, and then start working off of that. That's how you save yourself a lot of time, a lot of headache. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you.